Donald was named the best player in the league on NFL Network's top 100 list last week, and now he's being compared to a GOAT. ESPN's Ryan Clark praised him yesterday, saying, quote, Aaron Donald is the Michael Jordan of football. The gap between him and the next dude that plays his position is so huge, it's unbelievable. So, Shannon, what a quote there. Do you agree? Skip, if you just look at it in a vacuum and if you say Aaron Donald compared to other defensive tackles, well, yeah, but Michael Jordan wasn't compared to other two guards. The gap between Michael Jordan and everyone else, Skip, Skip when you compare Michael Jordan to Larry Bird, when you compare him to, to Magic Johnson to other great players, that's how he became the GOAT. That's because that's how he became at the time until 2003 came along. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Freudian slip. No, no, it's okay. Yeah, Freudian. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, but when you compare, when they weren't comparing Michael to like, well, Michael is Michael compared to Clyde Drexler and other two guards. No, Michael Jordan became what he became because the gap between him and everybody else was vast. Now, if you say he's the Michael Jordan of DTs, yes, absolutely. Because the gap between him and the other DTs is not even close. The gap between of today's DT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not but historical. He he has an opportunity. Now, I still believe, Skip, I don't know, and I'm biased. I mean, you know, I, I, you know, I still, for me, LT is the greatest defensive player that I ever saw. I didn't get an opportunity to play him because the year we were going to play him, he was injured. He didn't play. But LT is it. Now, you also covered the Reggie Whites, the Bruce Smiths of the defensive line era. Deion Sanders at the defensive back. Whether you look at Ray, I, you, mm -hmm. I don't know. Did you cover Buckers? No. <laughs> I know you didn't cover Buckers. No. <laughs> but anyway, Skip, look, is he the best player currently? Yes. But I do not believe the gap between Aaron Donald and, say, if you say Mahomes, if you say Drew Brees, if you say Aaron Rodgers, Khalil Mack, I don't believe the gap between D Donald and those guys is like the gap between Jordan and the guys that he played against. Mm -hmm. Now, if you just say D tackles, Ryan is absolutely correct, Skip. Mm -hmm. But I look at Michael Jordan, I don't compare... Skip, there, I mean, you can't even put Michael Jordan against any other two guards. You compare him against other greats yep. in the league. Mm -hmm. That's how he became the GOAT. Because if he'd have just been the best, you know, two guard, like, okay, well, yeah, that's, that's good and well, fine and good. Yep. But the gap between Mike and everyone else was vast. I do not believe the gap between Aaron Donald, although I do believe he's the best player currently, I do not believe that gap is what the gap was between Jordan and others. <clears throat> so first, allow me to say, I love Ryan Clark. Mm -hmm. I believe in Ryan Clark. Ryan Clark was the only player rep back when this CBA was agreed to yes. who voted oh. no for the Pittsburgh Steelers. He was the only dissenting vote. Way to go, Ryan Clark. Mm -hmm. Because he saw what was coming, <laughs> and it was not pretty. Nope. And now Zeke and others are stuck under this current CBA. Correct. So I give him high marks for that, and I still consider him a friend who is dead wrong about this. <laughs> Look, what did I always say about Michael Jordan? Every game I ever watched, he would do one thing every night where I'd say, I, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Mm -hmm. That's how great he was. Mm -hmm. I believe you could have brought in a Martian and sat him down or her down and said, hey, watch this thing called basketball. And soon they'd be saying, that 23, he is something. <laughs> yeah. You know, he's by far the best player out there, He right? might be from our planet. He might be. <laughs> he was really great, too, yeah. when you played with Rod. And, and Rod, well, you know, Rod transitioned to safety. People don't realize Rod started out as a corner. Who ran 4 he ran, Yeah, he, he, he ran 4-2. Four, four, no, he ran 4-2. Yeah. And he was skip. He was defensive player of the year. But Rod was also the cornerback on the 75th anniversary team. He was. People don't realize how good he was. Okay, but you could just turn your TV on, you'd say, there. Like Ed Reed, was he not always around the football? Always. He just, he just got in the middle of everything. You'd say, well, he's changing the game, yep. right? The great Reggie White. Again, when he, <laughs> when he had to line up between the tackles, sometimes he could get nullified, especially against those Cowboy, Cowboy. teams in the 90s. Yes. Because they were so big and so good and so, so skilled in the offensive line that <clears throat> two could take Reggie out. Right. Where, where he would sort of, he'd go quiet right. on you for a while. Right. That often happens to Aaron Donald. And again, I get it from a player's perspective. You put the tape in and you sit back and you say, wow, he's occupying two blockers. Mm -hmm. He is clearly first team all pro and it's not even close. Mm -hmm. 
He is clearly the anchor of what last year was a really could, – could we say it was it the best defense? I think it was. We saw it in the Super Bowl, Wade Phillips' defense, exactly. right? Mm -hmm. And is he a driving force of that? Yes, he is. But can he seek and destroy? Can he go LT on TV where you just say, oh, there he is? Skip that. But see, LT, okay. you know LT was a different animal, Skip. Okay, but he played – he's an edge rusher and yeah. he's a stand-up edge rusher. Yeah, yeah. Okay. but Skip, LT made the left tackle famous. Because if you didn't have, if you played in the NFC, if you didn't have a left tackle, you couldn't beat the Giants. Ugh. And then he made everybody else, the Von Millers, the Khalil Max, the Derek Thomases, the Cornelius Bennett, all these guys, everybody tried to find the LT. Okay, I got it. I'm going to go eye test. I'm not going to go coaches tape test. I'm going to go TV eye test. Okay. I've watched Aaron Donald for five years now. I watched him at Pitt. I watch and I watch and I just don't see enough. I don't see Michael Jordan. Where where I got it. The gap between him and any other DT today, yes. it's it's, it's extreme. Bad. It's yes. fast. Yes. I got that. But even my the two games against my Cowboys, I've told you this before. 2017, last year in the playoffs, yes. you went to that game. Mm. See, I won't let you, you forget that. She's going to more games. I know. going to more games, too. Fan. Is she? Yeah, yeah, we're going to playoff games. Okay. Maybe She's going to be going to a lot of Cowboy playoff <laughs> yeah, games. Maybe I'll have yeah. to. You better hope she doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, we're so good this year, it won't matter. You can go. Oh. You can go. Oh, you feel it yourself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. am I? Let's get a few contracts signed. All right. 2017 at Jerry World. Aaron Donald played. He registered two tackles, no assists, and zero sacks. Playoff game at Coliseum this year, this past football season. Two assists, I mean, I'm sorry, two solos, no assists, no sacks. Three playoff games last year, including Dallas, New Orleans, Super Bowl, no sacks. No sacks. Hmm. And I look at the total production in the playoffs, he had five solos, he had four assists. I mean, it's just like, it's pedestrian numbers. Right. Now, again, is he is he being double blocked every you better believe he yeah, is. You make okay, you, you gotta account for him Be with two. Before we start calling Michael Jordan, um, are we sure he's that much better than Joe Green? Is he that much better than Warren Sapp or Johnny Randall? Hey, Warren Sapp? You want to talk he, about uh, disruptive? The dancing bear, I mean, you know. He, I, he had that slither to him uh, where he just snaked through. Yeah, I mean, 300 pounds. And Johnny Randall, who has the most oh. slave for defensive tackle. Okay. Skip, I, I, I think he's, he's on a fast track. He's in the discussion with the great DT, okay. the Joe Green, the Warren Sapp, the Johnny Randall. But for me... LT is in a category by himself because what is he? I think the thing is, Skip, because he had his problems when he played with the drug issues, yeah. and then he had some real major, major not the drug isn't so off the field issues once he retired. Mm -hmm. People don't realize you do because you were covering the Cowboys and when they play when LT was playing. But LT <laughs> one, one day at Texas Stadium. Poor Troy Aikman. I, I can't remember how many times he went down, but it seemed like eight times were via LT. Wow. Skip, the man was defensive rookie of the year. And defensive player of the year. It just wasn't in the fair. same season. It just wasn't fair. He, he went he 10 straight years. He was first team all pro. Okay. Okay. So does Aaron Donald wreak havoc? Do you yes. see him yes. wreak havoc? Uh, absolutely. I yes. don't. I don't yes. see it. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, Skip. He, he, I don't see the quarterback good. play in fear, like terrorized by Aaron Donald. You got you got Skip, the, the way I judge a defensive player and being an offensive guy is that we broke down the defense. If I, when I went into the meeting room, and my coach says, we must take care of this guy or we can't move the ball. That's Aaron Donald. We played Reggie White one year, and the offensive line coach got up there, and he was taking off guys. He said, well, this guy can do this. You got to watch for the club. You got to watch for the rip. You got to watch for the swim. When it came time for him to discuss Reggie White, he said, this guy might be the greatest guy to ever play. He's going to whip all of your asses. We got no answer. Let's just hold on the best we can. Okay. That Aaron Donald is that type of guy, Skip. He is He's but, special. But I've never seen him wreak as much havoc as I saw Reggie White wreak. Where I, I would see games where Reggie would just take the game over and you'd say, my God, they can't stop him. They can't block him. Two well, can't block him. Three can't. I think I think that's one thing, Skip, is that guys throw the ball more now, so there's more opportunity for sacks. You know when you was covering the league, it was a run-based league. You threw on third down. You threw on second and long. Now guys throw, 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 so you have more opportunities. That's not to take anything away from him because, Skip, he's special. He is special. He is special. But he's not Michael Jordan. He might be Michael Jordan of the defensive tackles, and that's what the point that Ryan was making, Skip. Mm. He, when you compare him to other D tackles, who's close? 
You know, if Ryan had just gone Jordan-esque, I could go no. there. But you, you can't go Michael Jordan. But here's like the thing, though, yeah. is the gap between Aaron Donald and Khalil Mack, is it like that between Jordan and the other guys? I don't think so. Okay, Khalil, but he doesn't play really the same position. No, no, no. But I'm saying, with, yeah. but see, Michael, you could they compare Michael to everybody to Kareem and and and, and Magic and Bird and and Carl Malone and I, all I, the I guys. Got it. Could you line up Aaron Donald in a stand-up pass rush position and he would wreak havoc? I don't think so. Well, you, but they, they don't like, they don't stand him up, Skip. But Wade Phillips, knowing Wade like I do know him. He'll slide him up and down the line. He does. They slide him trying to find the weak link. Mm -hmm. And if you're the center and you're weak, he's going to play on your head all day. If you're the left guard, right guard, and you're weak, he's going to play on your head all day. If you're the right tackle, left tackle, they're trying to find the matchup. Mm. And wherever they find that matchup, you got to deal with it. Mm. And that's Skip the Dude special, Skip. He good. I mean, he, he good. Now, I played against John. He, he reminds you the, with his hands and his size, he reminds you of Johnny Randall because hmm. Johnny wasn't that big. Sap was about 300 pounds, but Sap, for 300 pounds, you're never going to find a defensive lineman that's 300 pounds that can move like Warren Sap. You can't <sighs> find it. No. And then Joe Green was, I mean, Joe couldn't play today because they take all his money. Because <laughs> <laughs> the stuff they were doing to quarterback Skip and Joe ripping the guy's helmets off if you cut him and things of that nature, he just couldn't play back then. Mm. I mean, play today's game. But Skip, I, I, he, he is the Michael Jordan of D tackles. He's special. You must account for him or he'll wreck your offense. He's that good, Skip. He's, mm. He is. He is that good. Now, LT, I, I ain't putting nobody in that category with LT. Mm. LT is a different animal. Mm. Okay. Well, another guy that has sometimes been compared to MJ, Tom Brady. Oh, is he stop. getting close to calling it quits? We'll discuss with Rob Parker. He will have a take <laughs> on this next.